What is up, YouTubers? John Zay here, and welcome back to the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Tournament Season 3. Now, as you can tell, we are here at another Tag Team Tournament. So, you guys remember how Tag Team Tournament works? The two, the team who makes it to the end of this tournament and wins it, those both of them make it into the final tournament. So, uh, we have a good lineup of characters that we're going to have today, and uh, since you can't technically see who's going to be uh, competing right now, um, Here's um, basically the layout, kind of, of who is going to be facing who, and uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get things underway. So, our first uh, match is going to be King K. Rool and Joker going up against uh, Piranha Plant and Ness. Alright, so let's get this match underway, everybody. Let's see which team will become overall and win the next tag team. I mean, the last tag team I thought was pretty good because, you know, two of my boys made it in. <laughs> but we'll see what happens this time. I mean, Joker going with someone who, you know, is a pretty strong boy but also has not won a lot of tournaments and, well, hasn't really won much. So, you know, this will be an interesting sight to see. On uh, who will win this? You know, pretty interesting. Also, see uh, Piranha Plant and um, Nest together. Both that have some sort of long range. So you know, but already it looks like Joker and K. Roll are doing probably the better work right now. I mean, Joker is strong. Don't get me wrong. It's just he always seems to not be on the right side of things sometimes, and. You know, maybe maybe a teammate like K. Rool might help him out. Because right now, I mean, they're in the lead with a stock already. Piranha Plant's about to be finished himself, and we already saw a Ness SD. So, um, we're going to see how things happen. You know, these tag battles can get very crazy sometimes. Oh, damn. Oh, that was a nice hit for Piranha Plant. Already, uh, pretty much already a minute passed. Not really a lot of, of stocks lost. Oh, and there goes Prana Plant. Prana Plant is now down to two stocks as well. So Team King Kirill and Joker are at least head by one. I was about to say by two, but Joker has fallen. Oh, and Ness is just camping K Roll out right there. Seeing all with the, all those PK Thunders right there. That was nuts. Okay, well. Right, the Smash Ball's in effect as we go to Stage Morph. And luckily no one dies as we go to New Donk City. Oh, everyone's trying to get it. And Ness gets it. Okay, this might actually make a comeback for them. And it does. It puts them right into the lead with an extra stock now. Is K. Rool's losing streak going to still be real? I mean, we'll see. As we're going right back, we always seem to start off in the flat part of the stage. Just saying. But alright, it looks like Piranha Plant might lose another stock soon. With only a minute 30 left on the clock. Anything could still go. Oh, and Ness is down to one stock as well, so it's practically all even, and Piranha Plant's about to lose one too, and now it's Team Joker and K. Rool that are in the lead right now. But they are close to losing a stock themselves as well. It's not looking too good for them. Oh, man, K. Rool almost went for that spike on Piranha Plant. That would have been definitely handy, because then it will be a 2v1. And Joker has lost his lost stock and grabbed K rules because CPUs always grab their uh, partners' ones no matter what's going on. And K rule pretty much on last stock now because of that. And could die at any minute. Oh no, Ness! Oh boy, Prom Plant seems to be in a sticky situation now. 2v1. I mean, oh, what a nice stock, too. 
Alright, so now it's just Piranha Plant v. Joker right now. A rematch since Season 2, at Part 1. Oh, is this it for Piranha Plant? It might be. Joker and K. Rule might have taken it. Yes, and just with a couple seconds left on the clock, we have K. Rule and and Joker moving on to the next round. Wow. What a surprising turnout. It was a really even game that entire match. And who knows, maybe maybe taking that stock from K. Rool was a good idea. Maybe Joker was the way. And you know what, Joker's like, you know what, I handled all that by myself. I'm not going to have my teammate come up with me. Alrighty. So with that, Joker moves, Joker and K. Rool, sorry, even with that uh, winning screen, it just looked like it was only Joker that won that. But uh, yeah, um, Ness and Prana Plant are out, and now we move on to our next round. So our next one is going to be Hunter Toward and Banjo-Kazooie facing off against Me Brawler and Me Sword Fighter. Is that right? Yep. You know, this is also interesting. This is practically um, the Me Fighters' first tournament, well, at least the Sword and the Brawler. Uh, Meat Gunner hasn't shown up yet, but I'm pretty sure she might show up in the next tournament. So, you know, stay tuned for that. We'll see how things turn out here. And if anything, Hunter Toward and Me Brawler kind of have the same sort of skills. So we'll see how things turn out. Alrighty. So, you know, the Mies have some sort of, I mean, the Mies, they've always entered the final tournament every year, so, you know, that's something. But you gotta remember, Hunter was only introduced Season 2, and he didn't really have that much battles in Season 2, and so far this season, it hasn't been the best. And Banjo just started this season, and has lost a couple times as well. I mean, it was close to winning few. Oh, did Hunter just footstool me, me Sword Fighter? Wow. Disrespect on me, Sword Fighter, right there. Ooh. Ooh, I think another stock's about to be lost, and me, Brawler, knocks another stock, knocks out a stock from Hunter to War. But it looks a bit, it looks like the Mies are probably in the lead, mostly with percentage, basically. Spanjo looks like he's about to be finished, and me, Brawler, only having less than 50% damage. Oh. Oh, and me brawler did the same thing to Hunter. Ah, oh, that's not. Ooh. Oh, and Hunter might. Oh, and he got it on me sword fighter. If anything, this could even everything up. Even though Banjo just lost a stock. So now the me fighters are down to um. Down to four stocks. Each. In total, and uh, Hunter and Banjo are down to two, uh, three stocks. So we go to Stage Morph, and really not looking good for them. And Hunter SD, and since he SD, he took a stock from Banjo since he still had an extra. This is definitely not looking anything for um, for Hunter or Banjo Kazooie, unfortunately. You know they tried working together, but unfortunately it was not the case. Moving back. Yeah, it's not looking good. I mean, Meat Brawler's the only one with still three stocks. If anything, they might get three stocks ent entirely just by Meat Brawler themselves. And these two are showing why they've entered every season. Oh, <laughs> the disrespect. Knocking them both out at the same time. Damn, I mean, that's kind of upsetting to not see Banjo or Hunter enter the uh, final tournament yet, but. Man, I mean, these two are showing why they made it in last se like the previous seasons, and they are not giving that in now. So yeah, congratulations to you two.
Okay. So anyways, the Mii Fighters, um, the Mii Fighter team moves on in bracket. So, um, the next match is going to be Samus and Pit facing off against Ice Climbers and Isabel, wherever Isabel is, right there. So, you know, Ice Climbers, I mean, technically Ice Climbers is not with a member of Team Jonza, but like, you know, they figured if they want to win, maybe they should bring a beast. Some, someone who is ferocious on the inside, and we all know how Isabel is. I mean, she did lose her kind of spark last time, but maybe she'll regain that beast intentions in this next round. So, you know. We'll see. We will see, won't we? Alrighty. So let's see how this match turns out. I mean, granted, Pitt has only won once near the end. Samus has never won a tournament before. Yet, yeah, Isabel and Ice Climbers have made it into the final tournament before. So, be quite interesting to see how this turns out. And at least, and actually, this gives Ice Climbers a bit of an advantage in this uh, stage because they can't SD on the stage. But let's see how things turn out. Things could still be poor for them. I mean, who knows, maybe Pitt and Samus might work really well together, we don't know. Ooh, and like that, Oh, Ice Climbers just kind of took that. Oh man, ah, oh, the Ice Climbers are not doing good this season. What's going on, boys? Well, so far, Samus and uh, Pitt are in the lead with stocks. you think the Ice Climbers would have an advantage. Oh, Isabel not doing so well herself. I swear I've heard this song before, and I don't feel like it's Little Mac music. Oh, and Pitt is now down to one stock. And Ice Climbers about to lose another. Samus is now down to stock as well. Ice Climbers are down to one stock now. And Isabel's down to two stocks. So technically, they have a whole stock advantage. But Ice Climbers get the final smash. And uh, they can't really control it well, can they? Nope. So it was kind of useless. But I think it gave them a little damage. Uh-oh. Stage morph might be bad. Oh, at least they land on a flat surface. Oh, not really the best time to leave a rocket right on the moving platform, Isabel. Uh oh, that's not good. Nana is down for the count, so now Popo's on his own. That's definitely not good for uh, Isabel and Ice Climbers. If anything, I think the best way for uh, Isabel and Popo to survive this is if Popo loses his, uh, or doesn't lose his stock before Isabel dies. So that's going to be a hard thing to handle. Oh, looks like we might have a flip option. I don't know what Popo was doing. He, he was just like fleeing ice right off stage. Pitt's almost about to lose the stock. Oh, and we also only have 45 seconds and oh. Oh, and Pitt's down to. Okay, so now it's pretty much an even playing field. With 30 seconds left. Oh, this is a close match right now. Oh, did Isabel. Oh, being the disrespect. Now it's pretty much two on one right now. If Isabel can survive for the next 20 seconds, then they automatically win. Oh, a nice one with the fishing line. 10 seconds.
they just they just knocked Pitt out right before time even ended. Holy crap! They made it a close game, Isabel and the Ice Climbers, but they made it, and they move on in bracket. Holy crap! If anything, I was not expecting them to win after their performance during the match. Man, that that was that was just a surprising victory, honestly. Like, it was right down to the wire, too. So congratulations to Isabel and Ice Climbers for moving on to the next round. And sorry to say this in pit, but maybe uh, later. In a, na in a later time. Alrighty, so... This next match... Is quite interesting. And gotta make sure we stop the darkness. So, it is me, myself... And me... <laughs> just kidding. So it's me... And Nugget facing off against a uh, Darkza and Dark Toward. You know, Dark like they're here trying to take over the world. They're trying to take over our world. So you know. So we're here to stop them today. So you know, there's me and Darkza. We're kind of you know, kind of in the same skill of strength. But we also have Nugget who. Has pretty much beaten uh, Hunter before. Well, at least his dark self did. So I I don't know. Like Nugget did defeat Dar uh, Hunter before. I don't know if uh, Nugget has actually faced Dark Toward before. Not really looking good for our team right now. We'll see what happens. Oh, definitely not looking good. Not looking good. Oh, and there's a tornado. Oh, both are, both of us are off stage. Oh man, three of us are in the tornado. There goes Darkza, flying off in tornado. Dark Toward being the one who hasn't really taken that much damage. I mean, I don't know. Me and Nugget both have to be careful. I think Nugget just teched that uh, throw. Ooh. Oh, I gotta be careful right off that stage. Oh, I better be careful. Well, I tried to go for the disrespect right there. Because we don't respect the dark forces around here. Oh, ho. Oh. oh, and Dark Sun is now down a stock. Oh, they just comboed me a lot. Now I'm down a stock as well. And now Dark Toward is down a stock as well. And so is Nugget. So still pretty even. Oh, and I got it. I think, no, it's Darkza. Oh, no. Oh, that's a good place to use it, too. Oh, not looking good for us. Oh, that, that's really bad. That's really bad. Man, the darkness is coming out with s sneaky tricks this time around. Oh, no! An ISD! Oh, no. Oh, this is awful. I don't even know what's going on. Dark Toward lost his stock, and I uh, died as well. I'm just gonna put out for me and Nugget right now because we already know the outcome of this. Ah oh, man, they played both of them played very dirty this round. I thought if I teamed up with Nugget, I thought maybe we can take on Darksa and Dark Toward and stop them from entering, but uh it's not looking good. Yeah, because now it's two of them against me. And already going up someone who's practically the same skill strength as me. And then there's like a hunter around as well, so. And pretty much Darkso still has like two stocks too. With 50 seconds? Yeah, I'm not winning this. If I could, I would. And that's still not enough to take on Darkso or defeat him. You see what I was trying to do there, I was trying to get them both separated so I can take on one at a time, but 
Oh, and there's the stock ball. And there's... There I go. Damn it. Well, this is not good. The Dark Forces are winning, and uh, me and Nugget are... Have, I don't know what's with us not winning a lot. Like, both of us did good on our first tournaments. And then this happens? I mean, I know Nugget didn't really tend to win a tournament before, but still, like his Dark Self did, and he made it really close to the end. He even beat Season 2's champion. And then this is going on? I don't like this. Damn. Well... Anyways, we move on to the next round, and hopefully maybe one of these characters can uh, save us from imminent doom. So anyways, we have K. Rule right now, and Joker going up against, uh, I guess I, yeah, I can just do this. Um, me, Swordfighter, and me, Brawler. So we'll see how this goes. I mean... Both did incredible jobs. I mean, I think the Mii Fighters had an easier time of winning last time, where it was just very close with K. Rool and Joker. So we'll see how uh, things turn out for them. And yeah, um, and then the next bid to actually face off against the darkness is, uh, is Isabel and, um, Ice Climbers. So our boys Ice Climbers have to try to win this. We'll see how these guys do. And we'll see. We'll see how things go on. Oh, me Swordfire took a big beating right there. Ooh, a nice hit by me Swordfire. And Joker has our send ready to go. K Roll using his cannon. Looking still pretty even between everybody. Oh, and me, Swordfighter, just gets spiked by K. Rool. Nothing not good for the Meat Fighters to start off. Ooh. And K. Rool's still in it. I mean, K-Roll also has a good recovery, too. Ooh. I don't know, this is not looking good for uh, the Mii Fighters right now. Oh, well, now they finally got another stock. Oh, and K-Roll's out as well. I mean, last time there was a stock ball, um... You know, Joker took it and uh, claimed victory last time, so we'll see how things go out. And now we have Me Brawler destroying K. Rool right now with his final smash. And that was the thing with last uh, round with um, myself and Nugget versus Darkza. I mean, Darkza grabbed the smash ball and he kind of just comboed us right there. Now the Mii Fighters look like they're doing pretty well. I mean, K. Roll's about to lose a stock. Joker's pretty high on percentage as well. I mean, even though Mii Swordfighter's also at that point, Mii Brawler's still at low percentage as well. And there goes K. Roll's stock and Mii Swordfighter's stock. Ooh. Well, actually, yeah, that was the first time this tournament that, uh, me Brawler actually lost a stock. Jeez, I think they're trying to make K. Rool lose his last stock so he takes from Joker. Oh, or not, because Joker is now down the one stock. Uh-oh. Oh, Me Brawler's still kicking in there. They're all playing off stage, very risky. I mean, not for K. Roll. K. Roll can recover pretty well, honestly. Oh, another Smash Ball. This could switch things over. I mean, last time, the last match with K. Roll and Joker, when things didn't look like they were on their side, it changed, and they won. So we'll see. 
Oh. I mean, this could be it. Yeah, I think this is it. Oh, boy. And that's game. And he just spikes him out of existence. With me, Brawler, still having, like, two stocks, man. The me fighters are actually doing really well. Surprisingly enough. So congratulations to them. And uh, yeah, they make it to the final round. So congratulations and uh, good luck in your next match. And sorry to K. Rool and Joker. Man, you guys have a big losing streak going on right now. I don't know what's been going on with you guys. Honestly, both of you need to get stronger. You should probably train together, maybe. Alrighty, so anyways, um, I guess I could do the same thing with those two again. Anyways, um, so this next round we have the Ice Climbers. The one last team member of Johnza, who is teamed up with the Beast herself, Isabel, facing off against Darkza and Dark Tawar. So we'll see. I mean, Ice Climbers knows what's at stake here. Hopefully he does good. I mean, even though... He had it before against Dark Ice Climbers and kind of messed it up near the end. And I had to defeat them. And unfortunately, my strength was taken away from them. And I let Dark Banjo uh, move on into the final tournament. So we'll see. Hopefully, we don't get both of these guys in. I mean, luckily, we have some of our team members in as well. But and I think that's just our problem. Our teammates are already all in the final tournament. So we can't stop them from uh, entering the final tournament. So if anything, I think if the Ice Climbers did, the Ice Climbers and Isabel did win, I think the Ice Climbers might actually throw this match so we can stop these guys from entering the final tournament, maybe. I mean, just I just think they might, I don't know. But already, it looks like uh, the Dark Forces are doing a better job right now, which kind of sucks. <clears throat> Uh-oh. And the stage gets split in half. Ow, that was a massive hit from for Ice Climbers. Ah! Then I get right knocked off stage. Ooh, they're all playing off stage, which is really risky. And both Ice Climbers get punched out by Dark to War. Isabel's also close to death as well. As we go to Saffron City, I don't think this is a good stage for the Ice Climbers, unfortunately. They could be knocked around between buildings, and they could be separated, and then not recover. And now Dark's, Dark to War is now down to two stocks as well. Oh, Charmander lands a, a hit. I didn't even see who that was. Oh, we have Final Smash. Oh. Oh, and Dark Zuck grabs it again. Oh, and it's just comboing Isabel. After losing a stock as well, man, th you guys, they definitely know about disrespect. They, they're like the kings of disrespect right here. That's like just true evil right there from Darkza. I can see he's definitely been training. Oh boy, this is not good for our side at all. And Isabel already down to one stock, and you think the Ice Climbers would have been the first to go. Yeah, and look, John Darkza still has three stocks with Hunter, or Duck Toward still having two as well. I don't know how they could pull this back. Oh, but Isabel does a spike on Darkza, making him finally lose a stock. That was really good, Isabel, but I don't know if that'll be enough. Oh, and the Ice Climbers are now down to one stock, too. It's practically two to four right now. I mean, it's not good for our team. Not... Not good at all. There goes Charmander. Oh, Dark Toward trying to do those, that famous kick. Oh, with 50 seconds. There might be still a chance, but it's a slim 
slim chance for our boys to win. And there it goes. Yep, there's no way we can win this now. Damn it. Damn it, guys. We have to stop the Dark Forces. This can't keep going on. We can't let the darkness win. Plus, we're letting two of the most powerful beings of the Dark Forces enter the final tournament. I mean, Duggett's already in there as well, which was practically like the third best. And now they're moving on this fast? It, this is just not good. This is just not good. Well. I mean, we only have one more chance for them not to make it into the final tournament. And hopefully these guys can pull through. So anyways, we have me Sword Fighter and me Brawler going up against Darkza and Darksha Ward. Me Fighters, it's up to you. You're all practically at even strength right now, but we'll see what happens. I mean, you all have different special moves. So we'll see how that uh, turns out towards the end. We can't let Dark uh, Dark to War already enter as well. I mean, we we already have four of our boys entered as well, but still, we can't let these guys make it in themselves. Three, two, one, go! It looks like we're starting off in Mario Maker. Ooh, Dark to War took some damage on some lava. Excellent. Ooh, Dark to War is still keep getting hit by that lava. Ow, but now the sword fighter's doing that too, that's bad. And Darksa hit it. This is the matter of who hits the lava or not. But it looks like me fighters are actually doing some work right now. Their first tournament back and they're doing excellent. Darksa already lost the stock and so did Hunter to Dark Toward. They're both down to two stocks. Oh, you guys still better be careful. Oh Dark Toward. Oh no, now they're even again. Oh no, Dark to Darksa got it again! He keeps gaining it! Ah, oh, and Dark to Ward, oh my god, they're a pure evil. They're a pure evil. This can't be happening again. Okay, yes, knock them in the lava. That might be your best chance. Oh, but now we have stage four. And to another Mario map, and Darksa finally down to his last stock. Ooh. It's getting to be a close game. Anyone can win at this point. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, and Dirk's uh, throwing me. Sword Fighter. Okay, so now everyone's down to one stock. Oh, big hit. Big hit. Oh boy. Oh, and they're moving. How does this affect? Oh, Dark Souls out! It's just... They did it! The Mii Fighters did it! They stopped Dark Zuh and Dark Toward from entering the final tournament. Oh. That was a close one. That was completely a close match. But the Mii Fighters did it and move on to the final tournament. Oh man, they both made it in again. And they stopped the Dark Forces from entering as well. Oh, like I say, that was a close one, but you know, the winner is me Sword Fighter and me Brawler. So congratulations to both of you. Uh, you both are now in the final tournament, so congratulations on that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna sure to take my picture with you guys later because this is not the official tourney picture plan I can't do. But uh yeah. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this tournament. Thank you guys so much for watching this. And luckily Dark Forces are yet to have more than two people enter. So thank you guys so much for watching and see you dudes in the next video. See you dudes next time.
unfortunately, the boy, me and you, we 